Welcome in another video. Today I want to show you how you can debug your game and what has changed in Unity 2020.1. If you did not subscribe to this channel yet, please consider to do so. You can hit the subscribe button below this video and turn on notification to be informed whenever I release new video. So if you want to debug your game in Unity 2020.1, there is additional option which you need to toggle on before you do, you do so. In the bottom right corner, you can see this small debug icon. So this is the, the debugger disabled. So currently the debugger is disabled for my project. So if you click on this icon, you need to switch to the debug mode. And then as you see, Unity will compile all of your scripts. So here is a progress bar. Okay, so as you see, we have a small file here. So now we can open the Visual Studio. So let's uh, hit open any of the script. So I will just double click on it. And then in the Visual Studio, you can add the breakpoint. So if you want to add any breakpoint to your project, you can highlight the line where you want to set the breakpoint and then select the debug, toggle breakpoint, or use the shortcut F9 on the keyboard. So once you've done that, you can see the red dot on this, on this line. So now we need to attach this project to our Unity instance. In order to do so, we need to hit this attach to Unity. If you can't see this option available in your Visual Studio, you need to install the Visual Studio Unity extension to your Visual Studio installation. So you can go to the tools and then get tools and features. So Visual Studio installer will, will start and then you will see your Visual Studio community or whatever version you have instance here. So from here, just click more and then modify. So in this pop-up, let's scroll down to the gaming and make sure the game development with Unity is ticked. Okay. So once it's ticked, you can go over the additional option, which you want to want to have in your project. You can just review if you're satisfied with your selection. Let's click modify. And as you see, because I have the Visual Studio open, I need to close this Visual Studio before we continue. So I will just hit this close button. Okay, and now we can select continue. And this Visual Studio installer will, will install the Unity ex extension. Okay, so everything has been installed. I will close this window now. Let's go back to Unity and open any script to open the Visual Studio. And now you should see this option available in your Visual Studio. If you still can't see it after installing that extension, this is because sometimes the solution file is getting, is getting messed up by the, by the Unity. So if you still can't see this option, even on this list, you have to go back to Unity, right click in your project, show in the Explorer and then go to your project and you will have to delete the .vs folder and all of these projects and solution folders. So you will have to delete all of the C projects file and then SLN file and of course this .vs folder. So once you've done that, so let me do it. Once you've done that, you can go back to Visual Studio, uh, sorry, to, to Editor, to Unity, and then open the Visual Studio again. And all of these files which you deleted should be recreated, and you should see this option now, Attached to Unity, okay? So once we're ready, once we see this Attached to Unity option, we can go back to the line of interest, and then hit the F9 to set the breakpoint, and then click this Attach to Unity button. So if you go to the Output window, you will see that everything has been attached. Now we can go back to our Unity and hit Play. So I will hit Play and we're going to be directly moved to the place where we put the breakpoint. So as you see, I have this arrow and now I can see the value which we're passing to the function. So this is the level two. Okay. 
you can either press F11 to go inside the function, F10 to go one step forward, or F5 to just to, to, to just go ahead with the execution. Or you can just click on this breakpoint and remove it completely. So now when you when I click F5 or I click this continue arrow, I should go back to Unity and as you see my game my game is running as normal. So this is how you can debug your game, how you can input insert the breakpoint and see the value inside the inside the code. I hope this video was useful. If you guys have any problems with setting this one up, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next video.